name is Caroline Lehnertz and I work as a research manager at HIVA KU Leuven and HIVA is a research institute for work and society. The promotion of gender equality is a priority for policymakers and social partners in Belgium at the national, regional and sectoral levels. According to the Gender Equality Index, Belgium performs better than the average for the EU27. Belgium ranks second out of the four countries covered in the Virage project and eight in the EU27. Belgium scored best in the domain of money, so if you look at the gender pay gap, and worst in the domain of health, which here refers to psychological and physical risks and adverse behavior. However, much work remains to be done. Although Belgium's overall score on the Gender Equality Index improved between 2013 and 2021, the country's ranking dropped by three places. This is due to higher levels of gender equality or inequality in social and care activities. Gender equality has been a major issue for social partners and policymakers in Belgium for decades. The topic first attracted attention in the 1950s and 60s, when women started entering the labour market and the provision of public services such as childcare increased. Gender equality is addressed in legislation, policy and in social dialogue. In Belgium, discrimination is prohibited by law and it is punishable. The legal framework is composed of several laws, among which the anti-discrimination law and the law on equality between women and men are particularly relevant. With the law to promote equality between women and men, the gender dimension was integrated into the Belgian federal policy structures and gender mainstreaming has become a legal obligation. In June 2021, the federal plan on gender mainstreaming was adopted. And this plan includes over 180 measures aimed at the promotion of gender equality. In Belgium, there are two important bodies that follow up on gender equality issues. First, the Belgian Institute for the Equality of Women and Men, and second, the Gender Equality Council. Social partners are heavily involved in relation to both of these bodies. Besides this legal framework, Social partners play an important role in policymaking in Belgium, including on the issue of gender equality. Gender equality is considered in pi and tripartite social dialogue and collective agreements. It is addressed through social partners' involvement in official advisory councils and bodies, through close collaboration with civil society and organizations, and through other measures and actions. Although the gender pay gap receives considerable attention, Issues such as work-life balance, wages and segregation influence each other and they should be looked at together. It is key to address gender equality as a collective issue rather than as an individual problem according to the trade unions. Where employers' organizations call for less complexity and for more flexibility and customization of the existing leave schemes. Despite the importance that both policymakers and social partners attach to gender equality, there are some concerns that this topic is receiving now less attention and less resources than in the past. Bodies such as the Institute for the Equality of Women and Men and the Gender Equality Council are receiving less funding, while at the same time they seem to be broadening their scope. So now we have a shift towards a focus on uh, diversity more generally. And on this point, several stakeholders and experts mentioned that some of the structures and institutes that work on gender issues no longer exist or now have a weaker position. As a result, those who work on gender issues at the company level or at the sectoral level receive less input or are faced with a lack of urgency. And this is a really important issue that must be addressed. In Belgium, we held focus groups with workers in three sectors, education, health and construction. The workers that we spoke with indicated to have little contact with their union representatives and some of them did not feel represented. In addition, 
Workers do not expect actions to improve gender equality from the social partners, but are rather looking at their employer or they expect actions from the government. Workers indicated that problems stemming from gender inequality should be tackled when they arise. So to conclude, gender equality is a priority for policymakers and social partners in Belgium and it's widely addressed in legislation and social dialogue at the national, sectoral and company levels. Although gender equality is recognized as a key issue in all of its dimensions, it is important to keep it high on the agenda also as other topics are gaining prominence. EU and international policies and initiatives can help to push gender equality in Belgium forward.